Hey, we have here another integral on the board. This one's from MIT Integration B 2023, regular season problem 19. We have the integral from zero to pi over two, sine 23x over sine x dx. Okay, and this is actually not gonna be too bad because we do have a good formula for this, but we just need to transform this a little bit and then we can use that. So for my first step, what I'm gonna do is a u substitution. I'm gonna set my u equal to two x. And then therefore we can just find our x value is gonna be u over two. I'll take a derivative, so dx is gonna be just one half du. Then we'll just make our substitution. So I'm gonna plug a pi, we'll plug pi over two in for x and we just get pi for our upper bound. Plugging in zero, we'll have zero. Then for sine of 23x, that's gonna become sine of 23 over two u. And then for sine x, that's just gonna be sine of one half u. Our dx is half du. I'm gonna bring the half out front and we'll have our du right here. Then from here, all I'm gonna do is take this 23 over two u and I'm just gonna rewrite that. So 23 over two u, that's the same thing as, we could split that up as 22 over two u plus one half u, but then that's just 11. So I can write, so I can write this piece as 11 u plus a half u. For this whole thing, we've got a nice identity, the Dirichlet kernel. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but let's look at that formula really quick. Okay, so we have this identity down here to the bottom right, and we just noticed that we're in the exact right form here. We've got our half angles, and then we have like our n value. This is the key, our n value here, and in this case, it's just gonna be 11. So we can use this formula here and substitute it into our integral, and I think it's gonna make it clean up pretty nicely. So let's just see how this is gonna look. We're still gonna have our one half out front, same bounds. And we can write this piece as just one plus two times the sum from one to 11 of cosine xk. And then from here, this sum right here is just gonna be cosine x plus cosine two x plus cosine three x all the way to cosine 11 x. I think I'm just gonna rewrite this as a sum of all these cosine terms. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna split this into two integrals. Okay, so we'll add a dx here and we'll enter in an integral here. But when we distribute this half into the two, that's just gonna cancel and become a one. So we'll remove that. And then over here, we're just integrating all the cosine terms from x to 11x. So just integrating this first thing, we're just gonna have a half x evaluated from zero to pi. And then integrating all of these, we're gonna have sine x plus a half sine two x plus a third sine three x all the way to one over 11 sine of 11x. But now all that's left is just evaluate this and then we can finish it off. Okay, now for this first term, we plug a zero and this is just gonna be zero. So we'll plug a pi in here. So for this first piece, I'm gonna have just pi over two. And then here we'll notice when you plug a zero in for all these sine terms, every one of them is going to zero. So we don't have to worry about that. But then when we take our pi and plug it in, you'll notice sine of pi is zero, sine of two pi is zero, sine of three pi is zero, sine of four pi is zero, all the way to sine 11. So all these are zero. So this whole piece is going to zero. And so we're left with just our final solution, pi over two. So the big surprise for me is they used 23 when they could have used 2023, which is still an odd number. And if this was 2023, you'd get the same answer, pi over two, because it doesn't really matter how many of these terms you have, they're all going to zero. So it's interesting, regardless of whatever angle they put there, this is actually a problem that could probably be done in like five seconds. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.